All right, so I just uh, finished running my 3D Mark Vantage benchmark. And before I even uh, tell you what happened, I had to move the video card from, let me see. Let me get some light in here. All right, let's put that here. All right. From, I need a screwdriver to show you. All right. From, I had it in this slot right here. Which is a 16x slot. I moved it to the very first one, which you can see, which is also a 16x, X16 slot. What happened was this. For some reason, when it was in the slot over here on the bottom, the, the lower slot, the video card was running at X4. Uh, it was sharing bandwidth with something else on the motherboard. I don't, I'm not even sure what. So, so to me, that means it wasn't the video card wasn't get, getting the most performance out of the of the bandwidth uh, 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 more uh, it wasn't getting the most per bandwidth performance transfer between the motherboard and the video card so I moved it up here and uh, I just updates some update just came in. so anyway uh, so I moved it up here and in case anybody wants to know that's how close it is to my NHD 15 actual cool, cooler it's it's close but it doesn't touch at all so it's okay um, here's my M.2 with a little fan right here that's a that's a small fan I took over out of a paint Pentium 2 CPU cooler So anyway, um, let's get let's not get sidetracked. So anyway, so what I did was I ran the benchmark again, and this is the benchmarks that I got now. For with with it running at uh, X16, so 21771 for the video for the graphics CPU 45188. I have this overclocked to 4.2. Now. Earlier today, before I did this, I changed, I I ran the benchmark, if I change it, 21.509 and 45.949. So, uh, according to this, the CPU, the CPU score went down a little bit for unknown reason. It's going to probably, it's, it's going to vary depending on what I have open down here I don't know what I had open before uh, so CPU might go up and down at video too so basically I'm getting the same damn score it's not there's no difference there's really no difference in um, in what happened what what the score is so it still says better than 75% of these results and same thing here on the latest run so it doesn't it doesn't it didn't make any difference on this particular video card maybe on a GTX 980 or something it will it will make more of a difference I don't know but uh, it sucks because I I took out I took apart this computer again took the kit the cover off and I had to take the move move around these slot covers and stuff and and I, I haven't gained anything so I'm a little disappointed but that's what happened so at least now the video cards getting the correct uh, slot speed which didn't make any difference in this in my particular case so that's it that's the end of the, that's the video um, you guys have any questions
above my setup or whatever uh, you could message me I have uh, I'm taking at least 10 videos about my progress when I was building the computer so you guys can look and that's basically it uh, I also changed I got I finally got my PWM uh, fan splitter from Amazon so I got that hooked up I'm gonna be tuning these fans right there let me light them up again I'm gonna be tuning these two fans the black ones up there these are Noctua uh, industrial PPC uh, 2000 RPM max fans right now I'm have I have them pulling the air out up here so beautiful fans a little expensive but but nice they work great 26 dollars um, I think it cost me so anyway look at my other videos if you have any more questions and uh, probably gonna make another video in the future about something else that I think of I know I'm gonna be taking this hard drive out and putting in a, a one terab this is a 750 now Samsung drive I, I really don't like Samsung hard drives uh, I've had several that went bad in the past from uh, either Customers using them uh, where I went, where I did work, or um, or whatever. Anyway, Samsung Samsung hard drives stay away from them. And in my opinion, the best hard drives for reliability are Western Digital, um, Toshiba's. I have really I haven't had too many problems with them. Hitachi's, they're good. Which is now HGST Hitachi Global Storage Technologies. So, um, that's basically it. So, anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.